it's kind of strange sometimes you go to a pediatrician and he says you're going to be on medicine every time you go to a dentist or you get a little surgery because he says there's something that could happen to the kid's heart. What's that all about, Dr. LaCourt? In children that have heart disease, bona fide heart disease, we are not talking now about the innocent murmurs. Children with bona fide heart disease are at risk of developing what is called bacterial endocarditis. Everybody has germs in their mouth. When a dentist even cleans the teeth, in fact, it's more likely to happen with a cleaning than with a cavity, germs or bacteria can get into that child's bloodstream and settle in the heart because of that congenital defect. By giving a child antibiotics, usually amoxicillin, in a high dose just before the dental work, if those germs get into the bloodstream, the antibiotics are there to kill off the bacteria and preventing it. So you don't give the antibiotics a day or two before, and you don't need it for days afterwards. It's one dose just prior, and it only should be given to children that have established heart disease. Giving that antibiotic dosage, will that absolutely guarantee no trouble? There's never any guarantees. But I would have to say in my experience, if given in the correct dose, I have yet to see a child develop endocarditis. Anything can happen, but it's certainly safe. It does not cause antibiotic resistance. And I would say for 99.9% .9 of the population, it works. And it's, it's really the way to prevent that infection. If my child is allergic to penicillin, what would you recommend as a good alternate? There are a variety of possibilities. For example, some people can use erythromycin as, as an antibiotic. Um, clindamycin, there are a number of antibiotics. What we do actually is we give the parent a little card that's, that's published by the Heart Association, which gives the dosages for the dentist and actually talks about children with allergies and children who are high risk, that is children that may need two antibiotics, for example, if there's a metal valve in the heart. So this is something every family with a child with heart disease has, carries around with them because of the importance of this. Thank you very much.